Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to talk about something kind of obvious, but apparently everybody keeps doing it. <laughs> it's about doing the same thing, but not getting the not getting different different result. I'll explain more as I get into this. So before I jump in, let me fully explain myself and also explain who I am, and then I'll explain what's going on. A lot of explaining to do. Um, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast, and thanks for joining me if you haven't been, seen, been here before. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live that I do every day, and I'll give you all the links and how to find me and everything else at the end of the broadcast. Um, and the topic to, sorry, excuse me, introduction, then topic, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm an inspirational speaker when I remember how to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, book with singles of couples, men and women. I'll put a link, in that, link for that at the back end as well. I'm also a relationship and love expert helping women create balance and love life and business. Because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work and why I help with women, mostly some men can get help too, when well, they want it. Um, I'll leave that alone. And <laughs> also what inspired these talks almost three years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're episode episode number 851. It's got a bunch of these, and I'll tell you when you can find the replays at the end of the broadcast. And the topic today is kind of simple in a way, because it's the really understanding, which I'm sure makes a lot of sense. If you do the same thing, you tend to get the same result. And this applies to dating like everything else in life. If you drive the, if you drive the same way, you tend to get the same result. It's, it's all the same thing. But people forget this when it comes to dating. It's kind of an obvious mandate. And in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of um, conflating, not conflating, contracting, excuse me, a quote from, um, well, it was attributed, was it? Yes. Attributed to Albert Einstein. I don't know if it's true or not, but basically he's quoted as, as um, doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And I'm sure you've read that, seen that post, heard it before, etc. Well, the thing is, it's kind of obvious that way. Because if you do the same thing and you get the same result, if you want to change the result, you need to do something different. This is kind of the logic how it works. You know, if you're doing the same thing, if you do the same thing, you get the same result. So in dating parlance, dating, dating framing, if you go on dates and you go through the same process, the same um, method of finding your dates, and the same experience when you're on your dates, you tend to get the same result from those dates. Is that making sense? Now, you can have a vain hope that maybe if it, it's like if you kiss enough frogs, you're going to find a prince. That's one option. I have a better option, and I'll get to that in a moment. But the thing about if you're doing the same thing again and getting a different result, excuse me, same thing again and getting the same result, I'll speak the truth here and get it right, then it's unlikely it's going to change. And again, the quote I mentioned earlier is the definition of insanity. If you're doing the same thing, but you want a different result, let me, let, me, sorry, let me take away the insanity thought. I don't want to put that in your mind. It's going to make you feel bad. Or make, think, make it sound like I'm judging. Um, if you're doing the same thing and get the same result and it's not working for you, then you want to get a different result because what you do want to have work for you, then you do something different in the first place. This is making sense. This is very simple logic. I'm not trying to make not rocket science by any stretch of your imagination. So the question for a lot of people is how? Because it's so tempting because you've learned this way or you've practiced this way or you've just been a defaulted to this approach, you're going to get the same result all the time. I'm just, I'm just letting, I, I'm on a loop right now because I'm attempting to wait for a download of something that's coming in. Um, some illustrations to give you un insight into this. I do know of a couple of, um, well, one's a friend, one's a client, where their dating experience, or should say, should say their relationship experience was repetitive meaning literally that their partnerships, although the partners changed, the same relationship experience happened. Again, doing the same thing, get, get the same result. If you're in relationships sequentially, like a different relationship, different relationship, different relationship, where the same thing is happening, then it's clear you're doing something the same every time. Make sense? So if you're doing something the same every time, do you know what that is? Now, you might, you might say to yourself, okay, well, I, I met one guy through, a, if you're a woman, you met some, no, no, let me it's neutral, because you're a man or woman. If you met somebody <laughs> through a dating app the first time, second person you met in a bar, the third person you met through a referral of a friend, but you're still getting the same results, but you, you say doing something different. Well, here's the thing. You may be making a selection through a different path, but based on the results of the relationships you've been in, 
you're actually doing the same selecting pro uh, same selecting what's the word it's not a practice but you're using the same what's the thing I want to use I was gonna say uh, oh. sorry it's trying to come through but I'm not getting clear on what it is let me let me go let me go the other way and get to it so let, let me briefly recap so as I said if you're doing the same thing you're gonna get the same result if your relationship experiences are the same even though you've got different um, approaches to it but you still get the same result then it's obvious that you're doing something the same regardless of how you're approaching things so it's not necessarily that your methodology of meeting the dates is the same it could be very different as I mentioned but what you're doing is using the same what's that word alignment I guess is probably the best way to use for that internally that's creating the same result and you have the same experience so again let me say it this way to make sure you get it clearly <laughs> Tempted to make this clear and easy for you. If the result of your past relationship and the one before that and the one before that didn't work for you and they are the same, let's sink in for a second, then the, the reality is that doesn't matter how you met them in the first place, the energetics, the alignment, the. I'm, the word hasn't shown up yet, so it will show up, of how what it started in the first place is also the same. Again, if you use the same method, get the same result. That's what happens. And if that result's not what you want, then you've got to change the method. Now, it's not the method of how you meet people. It's how you set it up in the first place. I mean, I'm sitting, what, what the, is <sighs> interesting. This is one's blocking me for some reason. What I want to, let me, let me describe it. It's easy to do this way. Interesting. Again. <laughs> I keep on. I'm treading this path again and again and again. So I'm not getting a different result. See, I'm actually practicing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm practicing this in front of you because I'm attempting to find a different uh, way of starting this, but I get the same result. So I've got to change how I approach this. <laughs> I love it as well. All right. So let me frame it this way. <sighs> I guess do this right in front of you. This is lovely. just sorting my head so bear with me for a second is that going to work yeah because it's going to work okay I was having to sift through some ideas how to say this I've said this before on the talk so this is a rehash in a way just so it fits your driving force for a relationship your driving intention for a relationship your driving desire for a relationship and I'm sure you have one because we all tend to have something like that is what's behind your results. So even though you're using different approaches, perhaps, again, dating app, meeting in a bar, meeting through a friend of a friend, your desire for a relationship is still the same, which actually is what's creating the same result. There we go. So the how you met them is in between the two. So it starts from, I'm, I'm checking as I say it, so just as I'm just seeing it fits, yes, all right. So it starts from what you're focused on attracting, what is it you want, what you desire is, what your heart's yearning for, what you're calling out for, all these different descriptions of the same thing. So what's inside? That's the starting point, the thing you're doing the same every time. The result, which is the other side of how you met them, that is the pain that you're suffering from. That is the result that you didn't want because you're getting, you're getting again and again. So again, call, basically cause and effect in simple terms. So this dance, this um, linked cycle from start to finish is repeating itself again and again. Nancy, hey, hello, good to see you. So this is what I'm trying to say is the same thing. So it's not so much, again, the methodology used to get there. It precedes that. So again, you have this framing, or I should say the way describing it. So, so you're doing the same thing again, get the same result. It's not that you change what you're doing in this energetic, it's what you bring to the doing that changes your result. And again, if you want to keep, if you want to change your result, but you're not doing anything different, it's going to be insanity because you're not going to have any changes because again, doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. Okay, I'll, keep, I'll keep hanging on that because it's the truth. So if what it is based upon is not your selection criteria, which is in the middle step from how you feel at the beginning to what you're actually getting at the end, 
this is where you put your focus on the piece before your dating mechanics that's a good word mechanics I'll put it that way it's like how you meet them where you meet them what that etc 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 that's all the mechanics it's what you no no it's not a car analogy so I'm watching for analogies it's not, it's not lining up so let me go back again so what it is you, where it is you start from at the beginning is what it is that needs to change if the result you're getting is what you want to change as well they're tied together as I said so having clarity of what it is you're actually doing at the beginning is a good first step. But for most people, hmm, this is where the fun part begins, you don't have any focus on that. Most people are focused on the mechanics of how do they meet the person they want. The result they're getting, they've also got focus on because it's not working out the way they want. It was close but not quite, or it was the same old pattern, or it was abuse, or it was addiction, it was abandonment, it was whatever it was that keeps happening. So you keep changing your method, your mechanics, and that doesn't solve it. Because what you really need to work on is the preceding, it's the vision, the intention at the beginning that really creates the results. And people go, and you might be saying to yourself, well, no, I know what I want, it's very clear, it's actually not what I'm getting though. Not so fast. The thing that I wanna say this is so vital is that for all of us, everybody, we have a focus on what we want that is conscious, and like the iceberg I talked about a few weeks ago, the majority of our focus is below the surface, it's subconscious, we're not even aware of it. And I'm coming back to this point again and again because it, it bears retelling and it's also accurate. That result you're aiming for is completely and absolutely influenced by the intentions that are below the surface of your vision, intention for relationship. So if your result isn't working, that piece over there is not working for you, the only way it can change is when you change up front what you're focusing on. And it's not just what you're intending as your conscious awareness, it's what you've got running automatically, subconsciously. I've seen it so many times, and I did it so many times myself, just to be clear. I've walked this path before myself. Thankfully, no more. Because I had to, had to figure out what's going on and then go below the surface and fix it. But I did indeed walk that repeated cycle of relationships several times until I really got clear, first of all, that it was really about me, that what I was doing, because it wasn't a bit, I mean, the women I was choosing wasn't about them, it was about me. I was the one that was creating the relationship that had that result, and all three of them were different paths, I'm using three examples, all three of them were different, different mechanics in the middle step, as I was mentioning. But the intention up front was the same, which created the same result, because I didn't know that I was running that intention. When you're not aware of what you're doing, you don't know how to change it. So you've got to become aware of what you're doing first. That was the thing I had to become aware of. And I learned very quickly once I started investigating what was happening. Now, I did have some clue from the last one of the three relationships when she basically showed me to my face <laughs> what was going on. I wasn't working. So I had a clue. And I'm grateful for her for that because she gave me the biggest clue that I could have asked for because it put me on the path to where I got to where I got to understand this. So once I started doing some investigations and digging, diving deep into the intentions, conscious and unconscious, at the beginning, I started seeing what was driving the what was driving the show, so to speak, what was inst instigating the result I was getting, and that gave me the opportunity to fix it. Excuse me, fix is the wrong word. To change the programming, because again, you want to change, change the result, you got to change your starting point. So what you're doing has to change to get a different result at the back end. So my experience, I've seen for myself, thankfully, <laughs> very thankfully, but also for my clients and for my friends who understand this too, that when you understand that you can change your results because you change what's inside, and this is the finish thing. For, again, let me go back and say again. For many people, they think to change their dating results at the back end, they've got to change how they go searching. Oh, it's the wrong dating app. I need to change the other dating app. Or no, 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 maybe you should get rid of dating apps entirely and work with a matchmaker. Or no, no, I'm just gonna get friends referrals. Everyone keeps changing this piece, which is the middle step. The problem was the die was cast back at the beginning. And so your result over here is not controlled by the middle step. In fact, the middle step is just a vehicle to get you there. And I've proven to myself very clearly and to my clients that when you don't, it's not about changing that middle step, the mechanics. The mechanics are not, um, The, the mechanics are just that, they're mechanical. They take you from A to B without any judgment, without any conscience, without any presence. When you go back to the beginning and you do the work internally, which is what my coaching is largely about, then your choices 
change, and so your results over here change. And it actually doesn't matter what the mechanics are. They're irrelevant, really. They're simply the stepping stone to get from what you want to what you get. And if you don't know what your want really is, you're going to get what you don't want. That was poetic. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is making a lot of sense because, frankly, this is, this is the message I keep talking about a lot in my work. And I've talked about this a few times, a few times. I was thinking how many times I said it recently. So if you're in a position now where you really are, not, really are fed up with the fact that changing the mechanics doesn't make a difference and you won't really want your result to change, then let's talk so get you started on the right path to transform your intention so what you get changes from what you've had in the past. And ideally, it changes what you really want. So next time, you'll understand that what you, what you, what you do or is how you be at the beginning is what changes the result at the back end. And it does change your relationship choices. It's up to you to do this because it won't get done for you, strange as it may seem. <laughs> you are actually the one in charge of this. And it's not your relationships that are fixing this. You get to fix it. So I will put some, things, some links in the comments because you need to change this. If you want to do the work and you want to change your relationship experiences, if you don't really care, so be it. But if you want to change your relationship experiences, then, then I have some suggestions for you. So in the comments I'll put in, um, I already mentioned my book, I'll put that in the comments, so that's a good reminder. But I will put two links in the comments because it's relevant to you. One is my um, program for the ladies called Attract the Man You Want. It is an eight-module program that dives in deep to transform your experience to focus on where you want to go. And it actually creates a, a magnetic attraction to what you want to have. It's almost like you draw him in like a... No, not, mm, that's not a good analogy. You draw him in. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, thirdly, I'll put a link in the comments to have a chat with me. Because if you're stuck in this area and you want to get some clarity, I will help you shine a light on it and give you some next steps, which may be working with me. Not the only thing you can do, but there's other options. But definitely I can invite you to work with me if it lines up for both of us. I'll put a link in the comments so you can reach out to me for a chat. My gift to you. So there'll be three things in the comments that will help you get some clarity and we'll get you more understanding about how love works in the, right, the real world and the way it works properly. And also give you some steps to take so you can transform your results to what you really want in love and relationship. That's a fair deal, I think. So um, that is my little inspirational reminder today. This is my daily talk I do every day, by the way. This is my Facebook Live. I do on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. You can find me here every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. You can watch me live. You can join in. You can put a, There's a way somewhere in this broadcast, a little thing you can tap on to be notified when, next time I go live. The replays you can watch on my YouTube channel. Excuse me, jumping ahead. The, <laughs> the replays you can watch on my f Facebook business page, which is Barry Selby, the author, Although it seems like they're not all of my not more, all my old ones aren't being saved, they're just the more recent ones. But I have a solution to that as well. So Barry Sober the author is my business page. Please like that page on Facebook. Um, but all the replays, thankfully, every single one of them I've saved to my computer and then put them onto YouTube so you can watch them there. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby, as is all my social media. So you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. And every single one from the latest one, 851, back to the first one, are all there safe and sound. Thankfully, I, I got that feedback early on, so I didn't fall into the trap. So having said all that, I'm here to help you. At least watch my daily broadcast, because there's so much inspiration. I keep getting told by friends of mine that their life is changing because of watching my talks, which I'm humbled by and grateful for. If you want the help, reach out for it. If you want to change your life, get the help that works for you. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me, as always. Um, I've given the replays. I've given you the way you can find the, find the broadcast again and again. And uh, that is it. I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.